Come on, Beska, listen. How can you still be angry at me? Is that a joke? I had Dezor Zaraza in my hand and you made me let him go. You know why. <sighs> yeah, you were afraid of disobeying the pretty little queen. You chose your prize over my one chance of revenge. And for what? There's no way this Dragon Queen comes through. Everything I do now, it's for my family. Oh yes, those wonderful people who exiled you. You once said I was all the family you needed. <sighs> we should never have come here. This city... It only holds pain for me, Asha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. You denied me that. I... Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asher, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Your Grace. My nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. You have your city, Your Grace. I'm here to talk about our reward. A sellsword to the bone. But you are a man of your word. I hear you know how to follow orders, despite your friend's efforts to make you stray. You told me Asher was a man of integrity, Malcolm. Now I know you were telling the truth. You have proved yourself an honorable warrior. You have my gratitude. Unfortunately, I cannot spare my second son. What? But your grace, the mission was a success. I need every soldier to hold Marine. This is why you denied me my revenge? What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. You promised me Croft and his second sons. Which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty-handed. In truth, we are not so different. We're both far from home. We've both suffered the loss of those we've loved. And we both struggle to do what's right. And we're both easy on the eyes. <laughs> and modest, I see. I cannot give you my cell swords, but I will give you the next best thing. <laughs> this gold will be of use. Perhaps you can find the swords you need in Marine. Thank you, Your Grace. We promise to put it to good use. I'm sure you will. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There are fighters among those who used to be bound. On behalf of the Foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros. I have other plans for you, Malcolm. Plans for me, Your Grace. Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen Alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. If she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. You've made a good start with her. I could strengthen that bond. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. You're right, Uncle. The Mother of Dragons would make a powerful ally. If she succeeds in taking the Iron Throne, 
Should be the only ally we need. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. <sighs> the little Queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers, and I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. This looks like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. If we're very lucky, we'll walk out with our heads. I've been fighting alongside cell swords for years, Beska. I know how to talk to killers. Understand these aren't soldiers. They're animals you unleash. Must make you feel pretty good, seeing the masters overthrown. They're not gone. They're just on their knees. And when they get back to their feet, they'll be more dangerous than ever. You don't want to get involved, Russia. Your friends have been busy. Let's hope our heads don't end up here. One last thing, they're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. Or really any highborn pricks of lily white arses like you, little brother. What are you leading me into, Beska? No, I warned you. But don't worry, little brother. I'll protect you. Well, if it isn't Beska! Fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You can. But not this one hiding behind your skirt. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One. Two. Three. <laughs> I like this one! Hey, Amaya! Company! Is that a pit? Eh? Some masters couldn't get enough of the fighting, so they built their own private pits. Where things could get really nasty.
guts of Maya. Keep your cock in your pants, little brother. She's likely to chop it off. Well, hello there. Not many people get past the beast. You must need something very badly. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. I've come with an offer. I think it's one that'll interest you and your men. If you wanted my interest, you wouldn't have shown up with her. Amaya, please. Please what? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom. You walked out on me. On all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. But when you're born trash, I guess you can't help going back to the gutter. Leave her alone! I don't care what your history is. Beska's the most loyal friend I've ever had. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> My patience wears thin. My enemies mean to butcher my family in Westeros. They killed my father. They killed my little brother. And now I need great warriors to help me avenge their deaths and reclaim my home. You think we're cell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters. Artists who paint in blood. That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now! Free to do what you want! Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! Why would we follow anyone ever again? You all excel at combat, but you know nothing until you've tasted the thrill of war. Waves of men crashing together. Blood and steel. In Westeros, they sing of our great warriors for thousands of years! Amaya, trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? Oh. Who's the best you've got? His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. Oh, I've never seen him before. Take a good look there. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. And if I beat him, you and your men will join me in my fight. If you can beat Bloodsong, you'll gain our respect. But no one has ever beat him. Right. Well, suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard? I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there... Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you return to Westeros and kill as many White Hills as you can? No. I'll spend all your gold on the finest of halls. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. This cockless Westerosi, he's come to order us to battle, like our masters did. I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me. Let me 
show you how we dance in Marine. That's lovely. You know why I kill a man? So he's dead and I'm alive. Let's get this over with. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter win. The best would be me! Here, use this. Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, pretty boy. Actually. The masters who once held your chains decided who lived and who died. But as you can see, I'm not here to be your master. I chose you for a reason. You're murderous scum. And murderous scum is just what I need. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. 
fight with me, and you will have glory and gold. If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you!